Hey guys, what is up? The new cubist here. Welcome to my 4x4 house tutorial. Ultimate house tutorial, actually. So, at first glance, it looks like just your typical 4x4 house, right? Nothing too special. It's definitely compact up top. It's got everything you need to live, but there's a secret, right? There's something that we've all been missing in this build, right? We're just gonna look at it real quick. It just looks like a normal house, but if you know the secret, you can access the real part of the house. So, this is a really cool base, right? It's got tons of stuff here. It's got a full enchantment table. It's got just, oh, just a plethora of stuff. And it's even got a redstone contraption here to hide an even more secret chest storage room, which is really cool. Not only does it have an enchantment table, brewing, and everything else, and a secret area and another secret area up top, it also has a full-fledged mine down below. So if you guys want to learn how to build this block by block, step by step, stick around for the full tutorial. I show you how to build everything block by block, step by step, as I just said. So if you guys want to learn how to build it, stick around for the video. And yeah, I say let's get started. But yeah, how you sort of hide it is you just put a chest here and then you break it. But if you didn't know that that was there, you really wouldn't be able to find it. I mean, you can kind of look, but who's going to be doing that in your house anyways? But yeah, <laughs> let's get started. All right, so for your ultimate 4x4 house, you're gonna need to find the materials. Found them in help bar below. Pretty simple, pretty simple. Now there's a few things underground we're gonna build as well, as you saw in the beginning video, but to build the outside, we're essentially going to build two logs, count two blocks, and then on that third block, just leave a two block space in between, but on the third block, place another log, count one, two in between, do the same thing. Pretty simple, so a four by four structure. And you're gonna to wanna to choose one of these sides to be your entrance, so I'm gonna choose the front right here, and we're gonna go ahead and just break out these blocks. Um, I'm going to choose to put a furnace here, and a furnace here, as well as a furnace here, and then a crafting table. Um, in the middle, I'm going to put a bed here. I don't have full oak blocks, but I'd recommend putting those under there. Um, I'm going to place a chest right here, and as well as that, you may want to put these blocks under here just to make it look a little bit better. However, you can't break those blocks because that would go out of the 4x4 bounds. And then we'll break these two right here, and we will add some more chests. Now, under this block right here, you're actually going to need a water bucket, so we're going to go ahead and just grab that real quick. We don't need any more furnaces, so I'll put the water under there. And then we're going to take our tilling machine and we're going to put that right there. Uh, plant whatever crop here you like. I'm going to plant potatoes just because they have good satiation in the game and they seem to fit well into the build. Uh, the next step is from the inside to place trap doors. Now you can hold down your crouch button, whatever it is on your phone or on your computer. It's shift on the computer. I'm not really sure what it is on the phone, but you just place them like that and you can put your... Uh, uh, trap doors for the walls now you want to do that here and then you want to leave one side open for your door place it from the outside and you're good cool so we're gonna go ahead and just put some slabs right here and then in between those slabs we're going to fill them in with stairs so we're gonna build the roof now it's a pretty simple roof it's really not hard to design whatsoever but what's cool about the roof is we maximize all the space so there's two double chests up here as well so you've got tons of storage in this little teeny tiny build so stepping inside you can see that's pretty much the entire build however I wanted to take a st take it a step further so if you guys wanted to stick around and just see the normal 4x4 house that's fine but on my channel I like to take things a step further so we're gonna dig down here so let's Let's just pretend that that block wasn't right there so okay here hold on so remember that plank there we'll start digging from here so one two three four and then a four yeah four should be good just like that and then you want to bring your log all the way down inside of here now we're going to want to take some ladders as well and just put those right here just sort of and you can't put them on that block and you I mean you could close that trap door but i'm not really sure why you would now i'm not going to stick to the bounds of that four by four thing but uh if you wanted to you could however if you wanted to like make this into a compact base and sort of hide that entrance there's a ton of ways you can do that right you could either use pistons or you could have put a block above it and just sort of break it every single time but the way I'd recommend doing it, if you wanted to actually hide it, would be just to put a chest here. And then every time you come in the build, like people would see this as your normal house, right? But they come over here and you would know to break this block. And then you can come down in here and you can get back up too. And then you'll have that chest in your inventory and just place it back. And it's pretty simple, right? So I'm going to come down in here. I'm going to start breaking out these blocks just so that we can add a little bit of a wall material. And you're wondering what the dimensions of this room is. Good question. So this is one, two, three, four by one, two, three, four. So this is the four by four area of the house. 
However, I wanted to go a step further and just sort of break it out again so it's going to end up being a little bit bigger. So I know some of you are going to say, Neo, then that's not 4x4, and you're correct, but however, I just like to make it into my own build. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it's a 5x5 room now with that log being the corner block. And uh, essentially, we're just going to add supports here, and then we're going to grab some torches and just place those just so that we can see. Otherwise, things are going to get a little hectic in here trying to build, and you can't see anything. And it's just, I don't know, things just get weird. So I'm going to put planks on all sides here. Now, I know that... Uh, <clears throat> I know that the ladder is right there and it's not fitting with the pattern, but that's okay. It's really not, it's, it's not a big deal. It's really not going to matter. But the good thing about going down this many blocks is that every block we break, we can actually uh, put a ceiling material in here. You may choose to do a different ceiling material. It really doesn't matter. However, I'm just going to, well, you know what? Let's just do a cobblestone ceiling. Actually, let's do a cobblestone floor and then we'll just actually just keep the oak how it is. Because I was thinking I want another material in here, but I forgot I have a floor to design as well. So that's funny. So let me grab some enchanting things we're gonna add an enchanting table down here okay so I've grabbed a good bit of materials here definitely more than I'm gonna need so I'm gonna break out this area right here and we're just going to use this for the enchanting table it's just a three by three area like this and then go ahead and break out the walls and that's gonna be where your books go you don't need this many books but I'm just gonna place it here for redundancy's sake and uh, yeah so we're gonna put the enchantment table in the middle <laughs> I didn't grab the enchantment table it's always the funniest part when I make enchantment rooms I always forget the one thing that like you need for the build I I just find it hilarious okay so we're gonna take slabs here and we're gonna put slabs in this area but I'm gonna line it with glowstone you may not have access to this much glowstone completely understandable and survival don't don't worry about it don't stress just don't put it there but uh, I'm gonna put it there just to satisfy myself because I think it looks good um, I'm gonna put an anvil right here and then an ender chest right here and then you have a nice full 30 enchantment table let's just verify that for the fans <laughs> oh and by the way guys if you didn't know if you leave a comment on my channel I reply to every single comment but while you're down there writing a comment if you choose to do so now could you please leave me a like if we could get 500 likes this house that would really really help my channel out so thank you if you do that if you don't do that I'm not mad at you but thank you for those who did do it so I'm gonna put glowstone three blocks right here go ahead and pause it if you want to do that okay thank you for whoever did that I really appreciate it so I'm gonna put glowstone and we can't put Actually, we're just gonna put two glowstone here okay we're gonna put and we're gonna line them with trap doors and then we're gonna do the same thing with the soul sand below it we're gonna put nether wart right here and then on this block we're actually going to take a stair actually yeah we'll put a stair right here and then we'll take a brewing stand and we'll just place that right here I'm thinking actually I want the cauldron to be here so we're gonna put a cauldron here instead and fill it with water and then optionally you can add one of these things called a tripwire hook and uh, I don't really know how to craft it, but it makes it look like a little faucet, so I usually do that. And then back behind here, I'm just going to put the brewing stands. Honestly, they, they work because you're going to need to have your nether wart like mined anyways. And then optionally behind those, you can take item frames and place them like this. And then you can take potions. And uh, it's kind of cool because you can just like, I don't know. You can just kind of see like potions behind it. I, th I always think that's pretty cool. But So in a build like this, you're probably going to want some more chest storage, right? So the chest storage we had down there, was it was pretty limited, right? But that's supposed to be like the... It's almost like, I like to think of it as the camouflage of the base, that upper portion. It's kind of like how I did it in the 3x3. That's what I intended it to be, but a lot of people were... I mean, that video got a ton of views. That's why I'm making another one, because you guys want to see them. But uh, it, it got a lot of flack, I think, because I didn't expressly say like it's supposed to have like a camouflage portion. And that's my bad. I don't blame you guys, because if someone did that to me and bamboozled me, I'd be like, ah, what are you doing, bro? But I get it. I get it. Oh. So I'm trying to make this one known that like it is like kind of like a hidden base like almost like a secret base I guess but who can really say what a base is right? I mean it's up to you guys whatever you think it is But I feel like it's definitely a hidden base more so than the other one was But there's a bunch of ways you can hide the entrance. I'd recommend the chest I mean if they're looking real real hard, they're gonna see it obviously, but if they're not like I don't know why someone would be inspecting your base that hard, but if they are, then you're probably already under suspicion of hiding a base or something like that. So maybe don't, <laughs> maybe make a better hidden entrance or something like that. I think we can break that, oh, we can break that block as well. Cool. So I think that's pretty good. Let's add a little bit of carpet here to finish things out. Obviously the farm up there isn't too big, but you can have a farm outside your build or something like that if you wanted to. I'm just going to put a little bit of randomized carpet here just to sort of make the build look a little bit more homely. Now let me see if I can think any think of anything else to add to the build real quick. 
Okay, so going with the theme of sort of hidden things, I'm gonna add a little bit of a piston contraption here because normally I don't do them. So we're gonna break out these two blocks right here, then this block, and then the block behind that one. And we're gonna go ahead and dig out all the area under them just so that we can get access. So fall down in here, place your piston right here, place a piece of cobblestone right here, and then you can go ahead and fill this area in under. And then you can go ahead and just put a cobblestone block back right there. And then luckily, because of the shape of the enchantment room, it works just perfectly like that. So you can have a lever on you or you can leave it right there. I mean, if at first glance, it's like if someone's coming to raid your base, right? Let's just let's just do this. Someone's coming in to raid your base, right? First they find that entrance, you're like, oh, okay, so that's where the rest of the base is. So then they come down here, and uh, <laughs> and they don't see that the the secret passageway is already open. So they come down here, right? And like, I mean, at first glance, like you might see it, but at the same time, you're gonna be looking in here. You're probably gonna see it in Tail, You know, you're probably not gonna walk around. But then, if you know the house, you know there's a little secret area right here, right? So we're gonna dig down in here, and I'm not gonna do anything super crazy. I'm literally, I'm gonna make sure that works. I'm just gonna make sure nothing breaks. Okay, we're just gonna come down in here And we're just gonna have some secret chest storage just for your ultra secret items So let's come down in here and let's just break out a little room like this just something it, I don't want it to be too big really I just wanted it to be like a little chest storage room down here. Maybe double the size of it <laughs> I don't want it to be too big. Maybe double the size of it two three and then one. okay so I, I chose to make this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blocks long. Now the reason I did eight blocks is so that we could have double chests here all along the sides. So let's go ahead and stick with the theme of doing cobblestone on the floor. So I know it's a little bit dark, so I'm just trying to place enough cobblestone so I can get light in here. But we're just gonna add cobblestone. Again, eight blocks long and three blocks wide. So something like that. And then maybe at the end of the build, we have one of these little faux supports that we have for the rest of the build. And that should finish things out nice. So let's take some oak stairs here. And these are where the chests are gonna be so we'll just break out this entire area But what you're gonna have to do is break out this block right here and then do some right side upstairs Just so that you can open the top layer of chests So again repeating the exact same thing we did on the other side with just that little secret area, which is always nice It's always nice to have a secret area in your base I, know, I don't think I've ever put any redstone into any of my builds I think I may have done like a redstone snow castle like a long long time ago I cannot even express to you how long ago that was that was probably five or six years ago I, I vaguely remember it, but I don't remember it being any good, but I don't know um, I'm just going to put these blocks here just like this So just to make sure that everything seen looks good Even though it is gonna only really be seen by you unless you or your friends or people raiding on your server Know exactly where your base is and if they do again like you you have some problems there You may it's not my fault if people find it if you aren't you know hiding your stuff properly but this is a good way to sort of maybe a good like starter base for something like that I'm not really sure even if you just want to build it in survival just so that you know you have a secret base so I'm breaking out this middle area here and I'm just going to add slabs it's just gonna give the effect of a larger ceiling although honestly it's really not any bigger although it does feel bigger now see it feels more like a little chest storage room down here so the best part and most satisfying part let's add all the chests oh why does it do that so we can fit and now that we can place chests next to each other if you can't place chests next to each other yet I'm not really sure why I think all versions of minecraft can now have this capability But if not you can just put a one block space in between them and do like some logs like this now You can still even do that even if you didn't want like even if you do have the ability I thought it always looked nice to do that although it's way more space space efficient now just to do it like this unfortunately all the old Minecraft rules are broken and then there's a few more space I mean like you could fit you you could here we'll put some right side upstairs here you could technically fit like more chests back in here as well I don't know I mean you can sort of go crazy with it if you need more chests than this in your little teeny tiny secret base I mean I'm not really sure what you're doing in your base but you know you may want to rethink building into something a little bit bigger although if you want to I'm not here to judge right like I don't really don't care but I, this is not definitely not the biggest build in the entire world World, although it does have pretty much everything you need all right so I think that's a pretty good chest room <laughs> uh, it's okay right it's 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 you know it's decently sized I'm gonna break out these chests here just so that we could have some like some light in here although there may be a better way to do it probably with some glowstone but I don't know I'm not really gonna actually you know what here we should definitely do it like this instead we should put the torches right here yeah a lot better okay so let's come back up in here let's close our secret entrance and let's add a little bit of a mine okay so uh, in your faction base you may not want to have the mine like directly in your house but you could just dig it straight down right here without a problem so obviously we saw uh, those blocks there for our secret uh, chest storage area 
but let's just go ahead and bring it down here. I'm trying to grab the log block. Okay, let's grab this log block and let's, I'm not gonna tell you how many blocks to go down. It doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna try to go somewhat deep into the world. So this is like, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I, I dug nine blocks down if you wanna follow this exactly. Um, let me go ahead and just add this ladder here. I know it's a little bit dark and you can't see, so I do apologize for that. Although I will be adding a little bit of lighting soon. So coming down in here, it's really not that important that you change your materials out like for the actual wall materials or anything like that. But if you want to, it's really not going to matter. Uh, you're going to have a little bit of area there that's obviously not your wall material, but it's, it's not a big deal. So let me grab some torches here so that you guys can finally see. Let's put one down here. So we're going to break out a block on either side of the ladder and then one in front too just so that we stop running into it and then we'll go ahead and just make this into a perfect three by three room and then we'll go ahead and shave off one more layer just like this although you'll be breaking it with the pickaxe and not a torch unless you know my you know I don't know maybe you're breaking it with a torch so this makes a one two three four one two three four five so this makes a four by five room which is nice because it also means that we can add you know the best part it means that we can add some chest storage here, which is nice. So I'm gonna stick with the same theme here and go with the cobblestone. Spooky, right? <laughs> I love Minecraft. It's just like, here, you know what? We should freak out whoever's playing. Just play a random noise. Yeah, let me know in the comments. Do you guys ever actually get scared by those noises? I, I know when I was a lot younger, I did, because I had no idea what they were. I was just, I was genuinely confused as to what was going on. I th always thought it meant something bad was gonna happen, like, or something like that. And like I would genuinely freak out and like we, we'd be on a server or something and we'd be like oh no what are we gonna do and it's just like nothing nothing ever happened <laughs> which is kind of it's kind of anticlimactic in its own way I don't know but I'm gonna put some more chest storage there <laughs> uh, Lord knows we need more chest storage right and then uh, we'll just put some furnaces here you're not gonna need more than 18 furnaces if you do uh, I mean you might I guess I don't know but just to make it look nice we'll add an armor stand right here and then right here as well and then we'll go ahead and fill those up with armor okay so now that that's done let's go ahead and just put some torches here just so that we can see a little bit better so the actual mine part I'm gonna choose to build right here so we're gonna break out this layer and then we're going to break it one down and then we're just gonna continue that same pattern now I'm not gonna show myself digging it all the way down to layer 12 although people in the comments they're like Neo why don't you show us show us you digging down a layer 12 and I'm like if I did that so I'm a layer I mean, I'm already kind of low, I'm at 47, but still, it would take so long. Why do you guys want to see that? Or are you just messing with me? I don't know. Hey, either way, but I'm going to dig it down a little bit, just to sort of show what I would do in my mind as far as designing, like making it look nice. So we're going to put some torches here, just temporarily. So what I would do personally is I would take stairs made out of whatever material you chose to use for as your floor. So I think cobblestone for us, although for you it may be something different, which is completely fine. I try to encourage people to change the builds and sort of make them into their own. Although if you don't, I re it's really, it doesn't really hurt my feelings. I want you to copy it. I mean, that's why I'm making a tutorial on it. But it's always fun to sort of try your own thing and see if you like it. So every like, I don't know how many blocks, it really doesn't matter. You can just add a support here and there. Obviously you don't need to place it like in the wall like I'm doing like that. You can just do it like that. So this is three block, one, two, three. So one, two, three. And then yeah, it's perfect. So we actually can finish the pattern perfectly. So we have torches right now that aren't on these logs. Although I would recommend if you're doing something like this, honestly, just to add uh, your torches onto just where the logs are. And that'll sort of give them somewhat of a purpose. I'm not really sure, but it gives it somewhat of a purpose and then another thing you can do is just sort of break out these blocks and then fill them in with fence and you can do this now it is very expensive to do this resource wise and it's completely unnecessary but if you're in like the final parts of a world or you just want to impress people on the server with your mind you can always do something like this and most of the time it's going to turn out and look pretty cool so just something like that's always awesome to do and you can go up and down and you can mine and have tons of fun so i don't really think there's anything else we can add to this build i thought this build was just going to be the upper portion and then i was like there's so much potential for so much stuff so i decided to go crazy with that have a little bit of redstone in there which is nice but uh yeah if you guys enjoyed this video and you want to see more like it be sure to click that like button to give me some feedback just to let me know that you liked the build if you didn't like the build let me know in the comments if you and i ask you like honestly please do leave me a dislike like it's good it is feedback and it's not gonna hurt my feelings at all but i do ask that if you leave a dislike to let me know in the comments why so that i can further improve my content so that you guys will hopefully leave a like next time but uh yeah my shader pack texture pack uh music all the stuff that i use in my videos is all 
all down in the description below so if you want to head down there and just check things out feel free to do so i'd like to thank you guys a final time for watching if we could get 1000 likes in this video that would really really help my channel out and it would help this video out so if you guys like this base and you want to see more people see it just click that like button and you'll tell youtube that it's a good video and it should show it to people but yeah thank you guys a final final time for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye